From the gallery to the studio, usually that would be quite an experience for any visitor to CCTV Africa. But Vice Minister Sun Zhijun has one mission on his mind that goes beyond just that. It's nice to visit CCTV Africa. We would like to take this opportunity to have a discussion with the heads of CCTV Africa, Xinhua, CRI and China Daily to discuss how to improve our media's influence in an international setting. In recent years, as China-Africa relations get closer, there has been a growing presence of Chinese media on the continent. Kenya's capital Nairobi alone is home to four major Chinese media houses. Together, they have played a big role in bridging understanding between Chinese and Africans. The task of our Nairobi headquarters is to cover news and events in the sub-Saharan region and to tell the Chinese stories to our followers. We provide various means of coverage, including articles, videos and pictures. Since CCTV Africa was launched more than four years ago, our influence can be felt across the continent. As the only international media house that broadcasts from Africa, our coverage of the continent is extensive. According to Jiang Aimin, Director of CRI Africa, radio remains the most popular means of news reception in Africa. He said localization in media houses operation remains key to reach a wider audience. The most important experience we have gained is that localization of operations is very important. Our local employees have contributed a great deal to our coverage. China Daily Africa reiterated that social media is a very important tool to engage with their followers. All our content is available on our website. Our followers can reach us through various channels, and that way they won't miss out on our stories. Also present was Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Ambassador Liu Xianfa. The visit is the last leg of the delegation's tour to East Africa. Previously, they have been to Tanzania, where they launched a joint media coverage program of Chinese enterprises in Africa by Chinese and African journalists. They also took part in the launch of a digital TV project in Kajiado, a rural village in Kenya. Sunan CCTV.